before going for freezing the patient name is to be written then the semen need to be confirmed that it has already been liquefied properly there should not be any liquefaction problem and after that the single drop of semen would be kept on the macula chamber then the macula chamber is properly loaded with the cover slip then that to be seen under microscope whether the proper number of sperm is there or not that to be noted how many motile sperm a grade b grade and non motile sperm here we can see a very good normal juice sperm mix sample this sample is to be frozen now this is the grid which you can see so that you can properly count here are more than 30 million of sperm per ml, ml is there so now this is cryoprotected media now, the yellowish sample. color because of egg yolk so media this is basically there are two types of media uh, one is egg yolk one is normal buffer media. so egg yolk has a property of drop in this, this so now uh, what so i am doing uh, that uh, this chemical shock uh, cryoprotected media need to be to uh, mixed so with the semen very slowly with proper drop by drop uh, way because drop by drop you need to add because to be added uh, otherwise that uh, semen, uh, semen would be diluted very fast with this kind of media and, and this cryoprotector would give shock to the chemical shock to the sperm so the sperm survivability won't be good so there is a proper way proper interval you need to put drop by drop this cryoprotectant media inside the seven and need to be checked in this manner so that the sperm won't get any kind of shock so this is the way need to be done very carefully otherwise it would get shock sperm also won't be getting any kind of shock during the procedure so the equal volume of semen and equal volume of cryoprotected media is being added once it is added you need to keep it for 10 minutes in then the semen is properly which is already mixed with the patient information cryoprotected and need to be kept inside the things so cryo vials this is the cryo vial of 1.5 ml volume in between this mark is uh, properly seen over here so we should so not we keep not more than that mark so that the seven once it would be cryo frozen so the volume would be increasing and it would break the seal of the cryo vial so what we need to that we need to keep the semen with cryoprotectant in this particular mixture inside inside this cryo vial in uh, room temperature for 10 minutes so after keeping that in room temperature we will be keeping that thing in cryo vapor that is uh, liquid nitrogen vapor for at least half an hour here we can see that the, we are sealing that particular cryo vial with a micro pore and so, so it, it would be a double ensuring that there won't be any kind of spillage inside the liquid nitrogen plunged into liquid nitrogen so this is it at least half an hour and then would be plunged totally emerged inside the liquid nitrogen so now uh, this cryo are kept inside the can star we say can star that this, this particular aluminium can star we use for sealed. keeping the cryo inside the liquid and nitrogen whole thing will go into the liquid nitrogen so liquid nitrogen here we are keeping that thing inside the can star then it would be plunged into into the liquid nitrogen paper for at least half an hour now so we are going to the liquid so nitrogen. Here is the cryo can. The vapor you can, can see. So, so here this inside this liquid nitrogen is there. We will be plunged one is going this particular one inside the liquid nitrogen paper for at least half an hour. We will be keeping it like this. Nitrogen paper for at least half an now, hour. It has been now the, the seven is properly frozen in liquid nitrogen temperature paper. 
in minus 80 and it will be it is plunged now inside the liquid nitrogen and will be keeping for years if needed for this particular cement inside the liquid nitrogen mean minus 196 degree centigrade this is a cryo can which we can see here in the cryo lab cement thank you inside liquid nitrogen